It's the KVJ Show on 97.9 WRMF. Kevin has the bronc again. again. His voice is, it's sounding better. A little. Better yeah. than it was at 6 a.m. Yeah, I had, I had zero voice yesterday afternoon. But we're trying to make him use it as little yeah. as possible. And it's a fine balance between destroying the show or destroying Kevin's voice. So right. we're somewhere skirting the middle there. Because <laughs> I don't like being Kevin. I'm not good at it. You Kevin, are. there's only great. one Kevin. No, you're doing great. <laughs> Coming up, we're going to have a little normal or nope for you. You know the weird things you do. And when you do them in private, do you ever think to yourself, am I normal? Does everybody do this, or am I a weirdo? Am I the only one? Every day of my life, and I finally surrendered, I know I'm weird. I know I'm weird, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. There is a certain, like, ah, peace that comes over you when you stop trying, when you just surrender to your bizarreness. They call that the sweet surrender, Virginia, and that's when you just let the freak flag fly. Okay. <laughs> If you're looking at Jay Bird on KVJ TV, which I would highly recommend everybody do, he definitely is flying his flag. It's looking good. Thank you, Kevin. Popping. Thank you very much. Jacket on point. So Kyle wrote into the show and he said, Hey guys, am I normal or nope? I use a bar of soap only in the shower. Meaning he doesn't use a uh, loofah uh, washcloth. Right. Or it's shampoo e either? Just the soap. That's all he uses. Maybe yeah, he met on his body. Oh, well then, what's the... I don't get it. I think um, he just wanted to know if that's normal. What do most people use? I use a loofah and body wash. Uh, <laughs> you might be getting your period next week. I love it. I, I, I want the loofah <laughs> because, you know what? The, the body wash smells great. And the loofah makes it feel like it's getting the dirt off my body. And the thing I don't like with the washcloth, the it doesn't lather enough. I like a lot of suds. I feel like I'm getting clean when I do. Bar of soap, I just feel like I'm running over the dirt that's on me, but it's not getting off my body. And then not to mention, too, like, you know, were you sticking out in your naughty parts? Like, what are you doing with that bar of soap? <laughs> I don't like all that. We used to share bar, bars of soap when that's I was growing up. It would get random the, hairs. You remember that? Day? Yeah, oh, that's 80s? why it's gross. You'd have a you'd have a hair on. You don't know whose hair it was. Eighties soap. Everybody shared it in the family. There was no body wash. We led the league in random hairs and speckles on not only soap, but just other random. We always hair and speckles everywhere. What's that brown speckle? I, I'm hoping it is cornbread. Burnt cornbread. I'm hoping. <laughs> hey, Suits, I do a KVJ TV poll. Uh, we'll do loofah, washcloth, only bar of soap. I'm is there another way people get clean? Or is there a fourth option? I'm a three-in-one man, and I use my meat hooks when, when necessary. <laughs> do you do body wash ever, or you're only soap? No, I'm a three-in-one man. Oh, it's like a shampoo, conditioner, and soap? Yeah, but I, yeah, I, but I have to use a, a special shampoo. If not, I'll get... My, my hair gets all frizzy and weird. When are you going to shave that puppy? Uh, when we get to 30,000 subscribers, and it's really going at a snail's pace. So if you hate my hair... It's going to be around for a while. Yeah. Subscribe on YouTube? Yes, we're trying to get to 30,000. Yeah, I think we've gotten 100 since we started that. Okay, well, that's actually not yeah. that bad. Yeah, we got to get uh, 1,600 more. Okay, that's doable. Yeah, we that's should. That's doable. Yeah, we should have it in two years. Will you let the person that is the 30,000th subscriber no. shave it? no. It makes no sense. It's a terrible idea. <laughs> it's uh, pretty even right now. Early voting. It's um, Lufa, 42, Washcloth, 36, Bar of Soap, 24. Wow. Okay. Okay. So they're using the Bar of Soap with their hand. They're, they're, they're taking the hand yeah. and then they're mm -hmm. using... The, yeah, Rubbing it everywhere. Yeah, the good old yeah. meat hooks. Okay. All right. This one came in from Colin. Normal or nope? I like to eat my ice cream with a fork. My girlfriend likes a fork, too. Is this odd? Not normal, but I understand because sometimes ice cream can be hard and you want to prong. I think a fork is actually smarter than a spoon. I've never done it, but now that I'm thinking about it, it's more of a spiky tool. And if your mm. ice cream is hard, you can get in there and stab it. Until you eat it out in the heat, and then it droops through the... Holes. You got to eat it quick. I eat it indoor. But yeah, you got just got to be quick with your ice cream. I think I'm going to switch to a fork. I've been doing it with a spoon. I like your idea, Colin. My mom used to make an ice cream pie. 
with a graham cracker crust. Oh. And I started eating that with a fork, and I realized what Virginia was saying. It's effective. It's a tool. Yeah. You need to be able to break that thick, hard ice cream, and sometimes a spoon is not the right tool for the job. Not normal, but I see. You get it. I, I get it. I, I agree. I still eat more of the spoon, but it wow. does work. This is very, uh, I'm learning something today. Yeah. Thank you so much, Colin. Mm-hmm. All right, this one comes from Caroline. Normal or nope, she blow dries her body after she showers. Not normal, but again, I get it. I, I, I'm drawn to electronics when I'm damp. It's odd. <laughs> so I get where she's coming from. Toaster in the tub, love it. <laughs> I, I play with fire a lot, Ralston. You like taking your George Foreman grill into the bath with you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, normal or nope? Put bananas on your honey nut Cheerios. I think it's more normal than you think. Fruit in general and cereal, it, 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 it's a thing. That's my completely d- normal. My it's dad completely does it. normal. Yeah. My mom raised us putting bananas on cereal, and I think it's super genius. Yeah, the person that uh, sent that in, Blaine, he said he was getting shamed by everybody in his family saying nobody does that. I'm like, I don't know. That seems normal to me. Your family's wrong, Blaine. A you lot gotta, of people put banana on cereal. Yeah, you got a weird family. You need to leave them. <laughs> uh, what about this one? Normal or nope? Sniffing your food before you eat it. My son Cannon does that. I do that, too. I love to sniff it. Cannon sniffs everything he eats. Yeah. I don't know if he thinks we're trying to poison him. <laughs> I think it goes hand in hand with being picky because Rocco does that too. And he just is looking for any excuse not to eat something that I've put in front of him. It really pisses me off. But he'll smell something and he'll go, it'll gag. And that'll be his way of getting out of eating it. Yeah, you you make, you can make some, you make. You make intimidating concoctions for a softer palate. If you are like a Rocco, if you are like a Jaybird, we do use our sniffer because we've been burned before. It's kind of like building up walls. If you get, I don't know, if someone give you a, you think you're eating something and it's aqua anus. <laughs> I don't eat aqua anus. I'm just saying, you eat some. Um, <laughs> yeah. I do love the sea. I love seafood, but I stop short at eating aqua anus i think i really did disappoint my mom because i was a bad italian she she was full-blooded italian mm. and she would make everything just so italian I mean, garlic she, and peppers and onions garlic would be in cereal that's how italian she was <laughs> and i i got that that bap bitch ass palate and <laughs> i would not be able to eat a lot of the stuff my mom would make and i think that it might have hurt her oh, i'm sorry mom <laughs> all right how about this one normal or nope Ironing your underwear. No. No, that's not normal. What? That seems like a waste of time. No one does that. Nobody does that. How about this one? Normal or nope? Keeping your toothbrush in the shower. (laughs) Keeping it there or just brushing your teeth? Keeping it there I don't think is normal. I think brushing your teeth in the shower can be. The queen keeps hers in the shower and I think it's completely gross. It is gross. So gross. Well, I want to be able to see my teeth, and so I need to do it by the mirror, and I don't have a mirror in my shower. I don't want to see all this. Like, no. Yeah. If you can't see your teeth when you're brushing them, you can't get all the stuff that might be in them out. That's not true. Well, the, we have a soap dish, and so she keeps her brush there. And so one time I was shampooing my hair, and I had shampoo in my eyes, and I didn't realize my elbow hit her toothbrush and knocked it onto the shower floor oh. right after I got done peeing. Ah. <laughs> oh, gosh, what's going on in the world? And she's just now finding out about it. She's not finding out. She don't know. I don't know Nobody fa- tell her. Everybody hashtag I, be I cool. I did rinse it off. I don't think it phases. I don't think it phases her. I think you're good. I think you're more horrified by it than she I couldn't is. believe that. So I was like, that's so gross. What are you doing? Then put it right back real quick like she was watching. How about this one? Normal or nope? Taking a shower in complete darkness. Uh, It's normal in my world. There's times where I like a dark shower. I like it. I I like to sit crisscross applesauce, let the warm water just hit my neck as I sit in the tub in the dark. Going through stuff. Playing some ragtime music. It's well, you come in, you flip on the light, and there's birds. And... <laughs> Listening to ragtime. Wow. Bro, you're you creeping me out. <laughs> I think I just, I'd turn the light back off, walk out, and just never mention it again. 